Hi guys, it's Travis and welcome to Educating Houston. Now today what we're gonna do is basically a tutorial on how to film and edit video. And it's gonna be more for beginners and we're gonna go through about 14 different chapters. So stay tuned, I hope you guys learn a lot. Like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys, sit tight. All right guys, what we have here is a basic GoPro setup, okay? So here's a GoPro 9. Um, this is what I'm using mostly just because it has the front screen and you're able to review what you're shooting. Okay, now the first thing we wanna do is install the media mod because of audio. So what I'm gonna do is pull down on this tab, this lifts up, you just keep pulling back, comes off, okay? Now, before I put the mod on, I'm actually gonna put the battery in. So I'm gonna first put the battery in now. Okay, so there's the battery. Now I'm gonna take this SD card next. Micro SD card, right here. Okay, this is everything, so make sure to treat it well. I'm having trouble with the focus. I'm gonna put that in here right now. Okay, my SD card, very important. It's the picture on the outside. So make sure the picture's on the outside. Let me click that in. Okay, it's in. Now I'm gonna take the media mod here. Now this media mod has this little, uh, let's see if we can see that right here, that little plug-in right there. Now that plug-in goes into the GoPro below the battery. So I'm gonna make sure that it's a snug fit. So I'm gonna slide it in, kind of separate it a little bit here. Okay, separate a little bit. I'm gonna just slide this right in, making sure it's in there snugly. And then I'm gonna close the door. Now what we have here is a GoPro that is ready for audio, ready for shooting right now. Now the way you turn it on, your power button is here and your action button is on top right here. Now when you hit this action button, it's gonna automatically start recording and when you hit it again, it will automatically stop. If you put your power on button here, you can uh, uh, adjust your uh, settings and format and things of that nature. Now I always tell my students to try to shoot in 4K even if we don't export in 4K. But that's your overall breakdown on a GoPro, okay? So just hit the top action button, it starts recording, hit it again, it turns it off. The way we um, get the SD card out and charge the battery is through here. You can also charge on the media mod on these panels here and also plug in additional audio. If you want additional audio, your light mod goes on top here. Okay, I already have a, something installed for a light mod, but that's where you would put your light mod right here, okay? So let's move on to the next chapter right now. All right guys, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna take three different clips and uh, I'm gonna do it with my family right now. So here's the GoPro. All I'm gonna do is hit this action button and it's gonna start recording. I'm gonna hit it again and it will turn off the GoPro. All right, let's try this now. Okay, you ready, Lily? Okay, hold on, wait for the beeping. Okay, beep, say, hi, I'm Lily. And then say, hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi. Okay, all right, now let's go over here. We're gonna do the same thing. Sit up, sweetie. Okay, there you go, you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hit the record button. Hold on, not yet. Say, hi, I'm Sophie. Say, hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. And then say, hi, I'm Sophie. Hi, I'm Sophie. And say, hi, Mommy. Okay, then I'm gonna go like this. Hold on a minute, I have to, it's powering down. I'm gonna hit it again for the record, and it's to you, Shara. Say hi. hi. I'm Shara. Hi, I'm Shara. All right, and y'all, those are our clips. Okay, thank you guys. We're gonna go start the editing process now. Okay, y'all, now that we have shot the clips, we are going to take what is on this GoPro and we're gonna save it onto our hard drive. Now remember, when you're doing the clips, always have the message down, then work on the scene, make sure your lighting is good, and make sure your audio is good so that we don't have to fix those things in post-production. Now that we've shot those clips, I'm going to remove the SD card. So I'm gonna open this by pulling down and lifting this up, okay? Now I'm gonna slide this out to access the SD card. All right, SD card's here. So I'm gonna carefully get this out of here. It's a little bit hard, just, I'm gonna take the battery out. If ever your GoPro freezes, just take the battery out and put it back in and it will um, usually get the glitch out. So here's the SD card, I'm gonna push down on that. Remove it, all right, very carefully here. All right, I have it, I'm gonna put this aside. Now I'm gonna take this micro SD adapter, okay? And I'm going to plug this in to the SD adapter. 
All right. Now, what's really, really important is do not forget before you start your edit, make sure everything is saved and organized into the correct location. If you do not save and organize your clips prior to your edit, you can have major, major problems with editing. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now. Now all this does is slip into the computer here. So I'm gonna slide this in here, okay? And then I'm going to access this card. I'm gonna review each clip and I'm gonna save each clip and then copy and paste into my external hard drive. Okay guys, when I plugged my, micro, uh, my SD adapter in, this automatically came up, but you can always access it through your documents, okay? So now I have to save the clips. I'm going to go to DCIM, GoPro. Now it may be different for you guys, I'm not sure. Okay, now here are my clips right here. Okay, these are my three clips. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open them and save them. Okay. Okay, this is our practice, so I don't need that one. I think here's our first one right here. Let's see. Hi, I'm Lily. Okay, so I'm gonna name that Lily. Okay, so our first clip is gonna be saved right now, Lily. Now remember, all we're doing is we're, sa we're reviewing these and we're saving these. This is still on the micro SD card, okay? Let's go to the next clip here. I bet you it's Sophie. Say hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. It's Sophie. So I'm gonna save this one as right click. Okay, so I'll right click, rename Sophie. Okay, last clip here. I bet you that is Shara. Let's open it. Hi, There's my camera woman, Shara, and my lovely wife. So I'm gonna right click. Okay, rename Shara. And remember guys, this is really important to do prior to your edit, and it's very, very important to save it to your external hard drive so you don't crash your machine, okay? That is the purpose of this. So the next one I'm gonna name um, Shara, okay? Now we have our three clips here. Now, you don't have to worry about THM files, so I'm gonna delete that, THM, right here, so hit delete. Yes, I wanna delete. I'm gonna delete this one as well. Be careful what you guys delete, okay? Now I'm gonna select all three of these, okay? I'm gonna hit right click. I'm gonna cut, okay? Now I'm gonna to go to my external hard drive, okay, which is here. I'm gonna select the folder that I wanna save in and we're gonna save it under AMCAP. So click there and I'm gonna right click and hit paste because this is where I want my clips to be, okay? All right, there we go. Now I have my clips in my hard drive on my folder. So I have removed my clips from my SD card and now they are in my external hard drive saved. So now I'm ready to start the edit. We're gonna move on to the next chapter now. All right guys, we are on chapter number four. We're gonna take the clips that we just saved and we're gonna move it into Premiere Pro. But first we're gonna open up a new project and make sure that project is saved into our, our external hard drive. Remember save everything to external hard drive. Now, I've opened up the program, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to new project, okay? <clears throat> You'll also bear with me, this is my first training video uh, that I made. This is much harder than I originally thought, okay? So now this screen comes up, I'm gonna hit browse to make sure we're in the correct folder. I'm gonna go to my external hard drive, go to AMCAP, <clears throat> and I'm gonna select the training folder Select. Now I'm gonna save this as training video, okay? So training um, video project, okay? Now I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna say hello here in a minute. Hit okay, hello in the screen. Very interesting. Now, what we're uh, dealing with here is, here is, uh, well, first let me go to editing up here. So I'm gonna click editing to show you guys where you're gonna start typically. Now, down here is your timeline, okay? So this is gonna be where we're actually gonna be editing and putting our clips to work on. Up here is gonna be where our picture uh, and our video plays, okay? Now, down here is where we actually drop the clips, all right? So I'm gonna select the three clips, um, which is Sophie, drop that there. I'm gonna select Shara and drop that there. 
And then also I am going to select the third one. Here we go, I found it, Lily, right here. All right, so now we have our three clips here in our Premiere Pro ready to be edited. So stand by for the next chapter. All right, guys, chapter five, cleaning and trimming clips. Okay, so I'm gonna take these clips now here. All my clip storage is on the left and I'm gonna put them on our timeline. So I'm gonna start with the first clip here. It's this Lily. I'm gonna drag that over to my timeline and let go. What you're gonna notice is two different layers. On your top is your video, on your bottom is your audio. Okay, now if we continue going down, there's additional rows. These rows here, and you can make more by uh, dropping audio down here, it's all audio. It says audio one, audio two, audio three. This is very important when you need to balance your audio. Now, going up, here's your video. Now, the high, if the, whatever video is on top of the other, takes precedence. So if we have anything on top of this video here, whatever's on top will play instead of the bottom video. Okay, now, if all you wanna do is um, edit uh, audio and not the video, what you have to do is you have to select the clip like this, right click and hit on link. When you do that, your audio will be independent of your video, okay? If you don't do that, it will be linked. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hit enable. Now it's together again, so oh, it's not. Okay, anyway, so if ever something doesn't work well, just go to edit, undo. All right, now, let's continue. Now, what I do to trim clips is I try to get as close as I can to the first sound. So the way we do that is, is, is I look at the audio. Now, one thing that's also important is on your keyboard, if you hit plus, you zoom in. If you hit minus, you zoom out. So I hit plus, I zoom in, and then I hit minus, I zoom out, okay? Now, here's our first clip. I'm gonna put our second clip and I'm gonna attach it to this clip. Now the good thing about Premiere Pro is that it's kind of like a magnet. When you get a certain distance away, it'll automatically connect you to the clip. Okay, do you see those two arrows right there? That's how you know, okay? Now I'm gonna to go to this bottom bar down here. I'm gonna to go to the right to see where my last clip ended. Or I'm just gonna hit the uh, minus key to zoom out. So I got Lily, Sophie, and then I'm gonna put Shara. Okay, those are my three clips. Now let's just look and watch this real quick. Okay, um, and look at how bad it looks. Okay, look at this. Hi, I'm Lily. Hi. So you can hear me talking. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Say hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Okay, it's a little bit jumpy. Hi, but that GoPro is such good quality, I love it. Hi, I'm Shara. Hi, I'm Shara. All right, and y'all, those are our clips. And look at how bad that lighting was. So, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna clean these clips, okay? So Lily, I'm gonna zoom in so I can really get a lot of fine detail. Lily doesn't start talking until about right here, it looks like. Let's hit play one more time. Hi, I'm Lily. And I say, hi, Sophie. Okay, so Lily doesn't start talking until right here. And look at how low her voice is, so I'll have to correct that. So she starts right here. So I'm gonna go to my razor tool right here. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna cut on the vertical blue line because that everything to the left of that, I do not want this anymore. This blue vertical line is going to show you your picture. You see how it stops like that and shows you what video part you're on. So I made my first cut here. Now I can also hit anywhere right above this yellow arrow to jump ahead. You see that? I'm jumping ahead. If I want to go all the way to the back, I hit that. Now, if I want to get a little bit closer to where she talks, I can go frame ahead, or step forward one frame, or step back one frame, watch. See, so it gets me a lot closer to where she starts talking right here. Okay, now I'm going to go to back to the select tool, and I'm gonna select this clip, delete, and remember I unlinked it. Okay, let me cut right there as well. I don't know, um, it did not cut the audio because I unlinked it, I had to make two cuts. Okay, so let me delete that. Now it's clean on the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is instead of this selection tool, I'm gonna hit the track select for tool. I'm gonna hit that and it will select all of the tracks. I'm gonna move them all the way to the left, okay? Take the horizontal line to the left. And when I hit play, she should start talking immediately. Let's see. And I 
<laughs> can barely hear her. Okay, now, where do I want to cut my last clip, okay? So I want to cut my, this clip where she says, hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Boom. Okay, she said, hi, Sophie, there. She, you can see in the audio, she ended right there. So I'm going to step back a couple, one, two, and I'm going to make my cut right there. Go back to the razor tool. I'm going to cut right on that vertical blue line. Back to the, and I'm going to go back to the select tool. I'm going to select. Actually, I have to cut the audio as well right there. I almost forgot to do that. Go back to the select tool here. I'm going to hit delete. Select here, I'm gonna hit delete. Now our first clip should be clean. Let's go to our second clip here. Let's push play. Say hi, Lily. Hi. So she, Sophie doesn't start talking till about right here, okay? Now I'm gonna go step forward a little bit to get really close to it. Now you have to be careful not to cut too close, but not too far. So I like where that cut is. I'm gonna select the razor tool. I'm gonna to cut right on that line. Go back to my select tool, select that track, hit delete. Then I'm gonna select this track and I'm gonna move it over right onto there. Now later we'll work on our video transitions. Okay, now let's push play and see where she stops talking. Okay, she, she stopped talking about right there. Okay, so I'm gonna step back one. I'm gonna go to the razor tool. I'm gonna cut right there. I'm gonna hit the select tool, select the unwanted part, hit delete. I'm gonna hit minus on my keyboard to zoom out. Okay, I'm gonna select the last track. I'm gonna move that over. I'm gonna hit play. Let me go over a little bit like here. I'm gonna hit play to see where Shara starts talking. Hi, I'm Shara. All right. Okay, then I'm talking. Those are our clips. Okay, that was like a really abrupt ending, so I don't really need to clean up the ending. But I cleaned up the clips, so there's not a lot of wasted stuff here. Say hi, mommy. See? Hi, mommy. Hi, I'm Shara. I'm Shara. All right. And y'all, those are our clips. So hopefully I can work on the lighting. Now we have our clips cleaned and trimmed, okay? It's time to work on the next chapter right now. All right, you guys, it is time now for chapter six, video transitions. Now remember, you wanna do your transitions before um, we do editing. So the way you do that is if someone's closing a door, you cut a scene, the next scene being someone opens the door. So you can get really creative with video transitions. I'm gonna talk about how to do it post-production. So what you do is you go to your, um, I'm gonna show you guys from scratch, go to your window up here, workspaces, and hit all panels. When I hit all panels, it's gonna put all my panels on top, which is my editing, my graphics, all of those things you see here. So I'm going to hit the effects, okay? Now, once I'm over to the effects, I'm going to drop down here. Okay, I'm under browse, under effects. I'm gonna to go to video transitions, and then I'm gonna drop down dissolve. Now, the, really the only transitions I'm using is cross dissolve, film dissolve, and addictive dissolve. And now how it works is, is you click it, hold it down, and you drag it over to your two connecting clips, okay? Now, do you see how that goes on both clips? That's what you want. Sometimes it doesn't work if the clips, for some reason, don't line up. Now, I could put it on the right, I could put it on the left, but we want it right on both clips. I'm gonna let go. I have now a video transition effect. I'm going back here. I'm gonna click Film Dissolve again, and I'm gonna put it on the last video as well. And you see here, it's not doing both videos, it's only allowing me to do on the right side of the clip, that's fine. Now I'm also gonna put a film dissolve on our last clip because it makes a nice ending typically to the video, okay? I'm gonna let go. Now I have three video transitions. Let's play and take a look at the transitions. Can I say hi, Sophie? Hi, Sophie. Hi. Much better, it's not a rough cut. It's more of a fade and a blend, or dissolve. Okay, we didn't really see that one because my program glitched. Now I'm gonna fade out. See, much cleaner, okay? So we're gonna work on audio transitions next.
Okay, guys, it's time for chapter seven, audio transitions. Again, try to do audio transitions in productions. And the way to do that is you can either start or finish or stop a sentence. So um, you say sentence, you cut the clip, the next clip is someone else completing a sentence. Those are good audio transitions, but we're gonna talk about post-production. So again, we go to our effects tab up here. Click that, it's gonna bring us to our effects. Now over here is our effects. We're gonna drop down here, audio transition. Now remember, it's effects up here, okay? Audio transition drop down and crossfade drop down. Now we have constant gain, constant fade, and constant power. Now I'm gonna use the constant fade on our ending audio so it fades out, and I'm gonna also try it on my clip. It doesn't always sound good. Now I'm gonna go back on my timeline. So I'm gonna to try to do a constant power on, on the audio clips. And it looks like the only one that I could do both connecting is this one here, okay? Now I'm gonna put constant power over on the right side of this as well. And that's it. Those are my audio transitions. Let's see how it looks now. Where I'm gonna take this uh, horizontal blue line, I'm gonna scroll to the beginning, and I'm gonna hit play, and let's listen. Much smoother with audio and transition. Let's see this last one. That wasn't that good. I didn't like that. Now let's see the fade outs. So you see how it cut my audio out? I don't want to use a fade out on my audio, but I will use it on my video. Let me show you one more time that fade out. See? So it looks a lot better, okay? So that's this chapter. We're gonna move on to the next one right now. All right, guys, now we are on chapter eight, balancing audio, okay? So I wanna show you guys kind of how this works first. Now we're gonna go to our audio up here. So let's go to our audios. Okay, so I click that. Now you see up on the left here, it has our audio track mixer. Okay, now each one of these, you see it says audio one, audio two, audio three, and there's up, down, arrow, you know, up, down volumes here. That represents each one of these rows. Now, the way we kind of tell where our audio is now is I look on this bar here and I see what our subjects are talking at, what decibels. So let's go to the first one. So Lily's talking at 24. Hi. Sophie's talking at 12. Hi. See, about 12 right there. And Shara is talking at six. So we have, that's a very unflattering picture of me. We have Lily here talking the most faint, Sophie's second, Shara's third. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop each audio into its own track, okay? So that I can adjust it accordingly. Okay, I'm gonna drop this down here. So now I have this audio on audio three, this is on audio two, this is on audio one. Okay, now up here, I'm gonna go back to the audio track mixer. Now on the first track, um, which is gonna be an A3, is Lily. She's very faint, so I'm going to increase the volume here by 4.4. On Sophie's, which is an A2, I'm going to increase hers only 2.2. Now let's see what effect we have, okay? And Shara's, I'm not gonna do anything um, too. Um, except I may lower hers one. So I'm gonna lower hers one. Let's see now. Now we're gonna look over here when the girls start talking. Let's see. So Lily's at 18 now. Sophie's at six. We want people at six to three. Sophie's perfect. Let's see, Shara's coming up. So Shara's at about six as well, okay? So what we need to do is we need to get Lily's volume up. So I'm gonna go back to A3. I'm gonna increase this to 6.2. Now let's see when she talks, if we can get her up into the six range over here. I'm gonna play now. And then say, hi Sophie. She's at 18. So she's still at 18. The problem is, is I'm also talking. So if I go up even more, you, you don't want anything in the red. And when I'm talking, it goes up into the red. So it's gonna be very hard to go any more. Okay, now one other thing I wanna show you guys, so that's gonna be the best I'm gonna do as far as balancing the audio, but one other thing you could do, um, if you have static or a, uh, a hum in your audio, you click the audio, okay, right here, you go to your effects tab, okay, 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do essential sound. This is so cool, okay? We are going to go to um, edit, okay? And then hit dialogue. And then we're gonna drop our default down and we're gonna hit clean up noisy dialogue. This is an amazing thing you could do to get that noise out of the background. I'm gonna click this next audio. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. It's under essential sound, under edit. I'm gonna hit dialogue, drop down where it says default, and I'm gonna put clean up noisy dialogue. And you see it has that FX turn green. I'm gonna do it to our last audio clip. Go back to dialogue, drop down, clean up noisy dialogue. Okay, boom. Now it should all be cleaned up. No humming. And then say, hi, Sophie. Such great audio now. And then say, hi, I'm Just so very, very clean audio. We have our audio good. We have, we're doing very good. We are gonna be done with this chapter. We're gonna move on to some graphics now. All right, guys, we are in chapter nine, and what we're gonna do is add name tags, okay? So where we're gonna find our name tags is we're gonna go up into our graphics, okay? So I'm gonna hit graphics right here. It's gonna take me to my graphics. Now you wanna be very careful not to put too many graphics. In fact, stay away from graphics if you can. It takes much, much longer to export and it will freeze up your program. Now, I'm under my graphics now. Now over here under browse, I'm going to select a name tag, okay? So I'm gonna scroll down looking for my name tag and what I'm gonna use is this corporate lower thirds. You can use a different lower thirds. Now I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna drag it to my timeline here. Okay, let's do it just for Sophie. So I'm gonna do it at the start of the clip, okay? So I've added her name tag right here at the start of her clip. I'm gonna take this arrow, I'm sorry, the, the vertical blue line, and I'm gonna drag it over to this part of the video so I can see her name tag. Now the way that we're gonna edit her name tag is we're gonna double click right here, the name tag, now off to our right, under edit now, it's under edit, it has our text controls. I'm gonna drop down here on the logo. I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna put, I don't know, AMCAP, let's put as the logo right there. As the text, I'm gonna drop down here. I'm gonna say Sophie Spencer. Okay. And then I'm gonna drop down text to her position, my daughter. Um, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put as her name, I'm gonna put sister, okay? Now, I'm gonna put one frame forward because it should update this. Now you see sister's very small, so I'm gonna go um, back to sister over here, these text controls, and I'm gonna take this bar, and I'm gonna make the text bigger by going to the right. You see how sister's getting bigger now? See that? It's bigger, smaller, so I'm gonna put about right there. Now, that is our name tag, but we don't want the name tag in the middle. So, just again, double click. Now up on the left, it shows that you have selected this name tag. Once it's up here, you're gonna click on Effect Controls, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, we're going to scale this down by holding down our mouse. You see, if I go left or right, it makes it bigger or smaller. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Then I'm gonna go into my positioning. On the left is left to right, so I'm gonna hold down, I'm gonna go all the way don't go all the way, but just go a bit and make sure you're symmetrical to the left and up and down, okay? So I'm gonna go back to here, hold down, and go left or right moves it, so I'm gonna go right to drop it. Remember, I want it to be symmetrical. And there we go. Okay, so that's perfectly symmetrical right there. That is the name tag. Now when we hit play, let me go back to our clips, okay? If I hit play, now it's gonna, it may freeze a little bit because like I said, when there's graphics, it slows down your video. See that, her name tag comes up and we're good to go. All right, we're gonna move on to the next chapter now. Okay, next step is chapter 10, background music. So what we're gonna do to do background music is go to our audio up here. So we're gonna click audio 
And then we are going to go to Browse, and we're going to have all these tracks right here. Premiere Pro has its own library. You can also go to Adobe Stock. Now I'm going to search for something epic, okay? Hit Enter, and I'm going to go with this right here. You can hit Play to listen to it. I already know it sounds epic. Now I'm going to uh, select it and put it on our vid in our video by holding down and dragging it to its own audio. And I'm going to put it on audio four and release. Now what's really important about background music is making sure the volume is pretty low. Okay. You don't want it overwhelming the speaking. So I'm going to adjust audio four down to negative 20. Okay. You see it's negative 20 here. That way, when the clip plays, again, the background music is not overwhelming. There is no perfect, necessarily perfect background music. So pick something that just flows with your video. I'm going a little bit um, exaggerated on this video. There's many errors done so that we had something to talk about during this training. All right, we're gonna move on to the next chapter right now. All right, y'all, welcome to this chapter. We are gonna talk about the speed of the clip and also the lighting. Now, first of all, because you guys have GoPros, if you wanna go slow motion on something, all you do is you select the clip, you right click, and you go to speed duration, okay? Now, it's at 100%. Now, if I want it to be super slow motion, I hit 20%. Or if I want it to be super fast, I can go like 200%. But this is where you control the actual speed of the clip. So if you want to do any type of slow-mo, you know, cool clips, that's how you do that, okay? Now let's go to the lighting. Now, as you notice, see how bad the lighting is with just me? So it's good here. Look at how good it's good here. And then as soon as we get to me, it's bad. So I'm going to cut. I'm gonna go a little bit to the left. I'm gonna cut right, that is so unflattering of pictures. This is so embarrassing sometimes. Now, <clears throat> that's where I wanna stop it. So I'm gonna go back to editing. And I'm gonna go to the razor tool. Oh my gosh, I hate that picture of me. I'm gonna cut right there. Now I have a separate clip to the right. The one to the right is where I'm gonna put my effects. So I'm gonna go back to my Windows Workspaces effects. Okay, <clears throat> because I do not want to change the lighting on anywhere to the left, only to the right. And that's where that cut is there. So it's two separate clips now. So I am going to go up to my effects here and I'm gonna type in lighting. Okay, when I do that, my lighting effects comes up. I'm gonna click, hold, drag that onto my video to the right. Okay, so now I have lighting effects over here. I'm gonna go on and so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, now look, there's like a spotlight on my face. This is horrible. So let me just double click. Um, actually, so I'll double click here. I'm gonna go back to editing and do this right so you guys can get a full overview. I'm gonna hit my select tool, double click here. Okay, it comes up over here. This is my effect controls. I love this. So we're gonna hit effect controls. Now you see I have a new editing feature here. It's called lighting effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down light one and I'm gonna, instead of spotlight, I'm gonna put directional. Okay, now look at that, it has lightened me up. The entire clip is now lightened up, okay? Now the way you adjust the lighting is your projected radius. See that? And about right there. And the intensity. Woo, that's pretty intense. So you just play with that till you like it. Okay, now my lighting is much better. All right, you see that? Let's hit play. And y'all, those are our clips. Okay, see how it slowed down a little bit? The reason why it slows, I have all these graphics and effects now. But that is the end of that chapter. We're gonna move on to the next one right now. All right, we are now on chapter 11. Now, this is compliance and logos, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I've already saved with all of my students their own um, compliance outro and also AMCAP uh, logo. So I'm gonna drop the logo in here, okay? And then I'm gonna drop the disclosure clip in here. Now, we're gonna add the disclosure clip first to the end. So I'm gonna drag and scroll to the end. That simple, all right? So we have our disclosure clip, watch. 
it, it should fade out and then right into there. Now you see how this isn't big enough, it's not fitting the whole uh, screen here. But what you do is, is you select it, you right click and you hit set to frame size. You see that? Now it's the frame size. So that's pretty cool. So we have our disclosure clip there. Let's watch it again. Boom. And this one, I'm just adding the, the normal AMCAP disclosure at the end of it. Usually I'll cut that disclosure to just add that part just to keep it shorter. Now I'm going to show you guys the logo. So I'm going to select the logo and I am going to, remember I said whatever's on top takes precedence. So I'm going to put the logo all the way on top. I'm going to select it and see that little, um, little fork looking thing? That allows me to drag it, so I select it, I'm dragging this now all the way to where the video ends, okay? Now, if I click here, bring the video back, see it has the logo right there? But I don't want it over Sophie's face, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click the logo, obviously up here it selected it, I'm gonna go to my really favorite control panel, which is effect controls, and what I'm going to do is position it by holding down and scrolling it to the right side. I'm gonna just do it on the right side on this one because I already have name tags. Now normally what I would do is I would cut the logo out where the name tags are. Now I'm gonna drop the logo down, okay, right there. So now we have our logo. Now, again, now if, I, I, if I didn't want it, my logo here, when my name tags came up, I would just go to the razor and I would cut here and I would cut here. And it would remove the name tag when the video plays this section. We should almost have our final video. Let's take a look right now. This should be our final. We're gonna go from the beginning. Always hit save often. So I'm gonna hit save and we should have our final video. Let's take a look. Say hi, Sophie. Hi, Lily's voice is so hi, low. Hi, Sophie. Say hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi. 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 Our clip. Okay, so it glitched a little bit, but it should be a solid clip. I hate it when it glitches because you, it's really difficult to edit when you can't see the whole thing, okay? But that is the end of our chapter. Okay, we are on chapter 13, exporting the actual data. Okay, so this is really important. So the way I'm gonna export everything um, to turn it into an actual video that I can share and upload is by going to File up here and then going down to Export. And we're gonna click on Media. And I couldn't share my screen for some reason, so I had to go back to my camera. I hope the focus is okay. Now this screen will pop up. Let me get in focus here. Okay, that screen will pop up. Now, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure your format up here is selected H.264. So make sure your format is H.264. And then your preset, select the, towards the bottom, YouTube. 1080p. Um, if your computer can handle exporting in 4K, do that. So I'm going to select 1080p. Also over here, make sure that for source range, you select entire sequence. Remember that it's very important, entire sequence. I've learned the hard way on that. Now we want to make sure this saves into our external hard drive. So I'm going to select output name here. Okay, this comes up. I'm going to make sure this video is saved under my external hard drive. It is AMCAP training, perfect. I'm gonna save this as final video, okay? And I'm gonna hit save here. Now I am ready to export this project into an actual video and I will say that I made a lot of errors so that we could go through the various features in our training. So now what I'm gonna do is hit export. Okay, hit export again. And here we go. It's uh, encoding right now, getting ready to export. Now I won't have you guys wait for this entire uh, process, but once this is done, it will 
have saved a brand new video into the destination that I uh, selected. So this is going to be an actual video. Once we get the video, we can do things with it like upload and market it and spread it to the community. All right, that's the end of this chapter. All right, y'all, we are on chapter 13, which is transferring the data and uploading it. So what we've done is now I have the save video in my external hard drive. So. I want to transfer this video to someone. I use WeTransfer. Transfer, okay. I'm going to show you how to transfer it. Normally how to transfer it to people. So I'm going to click WeTransfer, go to their site. And all I'm going to, let me get out of this advertisement. All you do is you select the video and you drop it in here. You see up here, it has added and I'm just going to add whatever email I want to send that to. T. Spencer at my mcap.com and I hit transfer. Okay, and it's gonna send me a verification code. I'll hit the, put the verification code in here and then I'll send it. Now, also what's very important is when you go to Facebook you up or YouTube, you go directly to those sites to do your uploading, okay? Facebook and YouTube will be our next chapter of discussion coming up. All right, guys, it's Travis here. Hopefully you guys made it through all those chapters. I try to make it as simple as possible. Keep it simple, keep the content coming. Now, I wanted to explain the differences of YouTube and Facebook. Now, now that we have our saved video in our external hard drive, we wanna upload that video directly to Facebook. We do not want to share YouTube links on Facebook. Facebook does not like YouTube. So when you're uploading to Facebook, remember to upload your clip directly and share it on local community pages and groups. As far as YouTube, same thing with YouTube, you are going to upload directly to YouTube. Now, what I'm going to try to supply you guys is weekly topics of discussion. Remember when it comes to YouTube, it's about using their platform. And I hate to say this, but what's more important than the actual content is the title and is the thumbnail. And the reason is so that people get to the video. If people aren't coming to your video, your video doesn't matter. So remember, get creative with your thumbnail and always have a very sharp title that you have researched. Other than that, guys, I wish you guys the absolute best of success. Keep at it, keep studying, and become influencers. See you guys. Hi. And then say, hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Lily. And then say, hi, I'm Sophie. Hi, I'm Sophie. And say, hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Hi. I'm Sarah. Sarah. All right. And y'all, those are our clips.